Hi, my name's Keith Cooper from North Light Images. Um, the other day, somebody asked me about buying a new piece of kit. Uh, they were asking about printers, which I do a lot of printer reviews as well. But I also I look at cameras, lenses, especially tilt shift lenses. Uh, and I'm a commercial architectural photographer, which sort of you know, drives what I do. And they said, I'm thinking of investing in a new printer. And it got me thinking about that term, investing. I hear it all the time. People saying, I'm investing in a new camera system, or I'm doing this, and they were talking about printer. My first question then is, is this for a business? Because you, know, you couldn't think of uh, capital expenditure in your business as some form of investment. But no, no, this was just for their own personal use. And I see the same thing about cameras. And some of the ones I've looked at of late, um, there's a Canon 5DS here, Hasselblad X1D2, um, you know, quite a few different bits and pieces. And it concerns me because I always think of investment either as in financial sense you know sort of buying property as an investment financial investments or in a business something like that if it's for a business simple one uh, you know what's the return on investment um, is it truly invest an investment when you buy a camera for your business or are you simply buying a better hammer is it just a tool and I think sometimes that people when they start talking of cameras and printers as investments it's in some way separating away what they're going to do with them from the actual money um, now I, I always throughout whenever anyone sort of mentions to me in you know, if I'm dealing with a business and they talk about oh you know a cost of rather than telling me how much something costs they tell me it's like a one-time investment in such as that that's an immediate red flag to me um, it sets me off immediately if they're if yeah because I don't I don't believe it it's a sales marketing tool so as I said is it for a business if so uh, are you just buying new kits you need to? Um, usually in a business you would, but if it's a hobby, I don't think you could really call it an investment. Um, it's something for you to take photos with, likewise with lenses. Now, you may say lenses are more of a long-term investment because you get more life out of them than you tend to for digital cameras. Um, some people think that new cameras render old lenses obsolete. I don't. I'm happy to use old lenses quite often when they do what's needed. It's the seeing them as tools bit that gets something done. And it is seeing them as something other than tools as collectible items. Now, if you want to buy rare cameras, um, in auctions and sort of keep them in the hope that they'll gain value, fine. That's an investment, maybe, if you pick the right ones. However, buying an ordinary everyday camera, even an expensive one here like the H6D uh, with the adapter here, now that's, you know, that's £20,000 worth of camera, Fuji GFX100. There's a Z7 there uh, with a PCE lens on it, 5DS, Hasselblad. Even getting those, they're going to plummet in value the moment you take them away from anywhere. So I looked at some of the costs of things. This Canon 5DS, I've used this for some of my architectural work since 2015 when it came out. Can't remember the exact amount it cost, but I looked at the second hand price to buy a replacement for one of these. It's around about £850 currently. So for £850, I can get a 50 megapixel really good camera. It won't have some of the whistles and bells that you may get on a modern mirrorless one, but it's still a very, very good camera. In the eight years I've had it, that works out at about, I think about £350 a year if you depreciate it over that period of time. Now, obviously in a business, you tend to depreciate things quicker. So this has more than paid for itself many times over. So this is a successful tool that I bought for the business that has helped me earn money. Great, it's worked that way. What about if somebody came along and said, oh, Keith, I want a good camera. Um, you don't need the latest and greatest, uh, much as camera marketing would have you think you do. Um, this is an oldish X Y. It's the earlier version X one D. This keeps its value a fair bit. This is still fairly expensive. Some of these don't. If you wanted, for example, a Nikon D eight fifty, you can get one of those, and I have only briefly ever used one, but. 
Many people say it's one of the best all-round DSLRs produced. You can get a second-hand one now for under £1,000. So it's under £1,000. That extra money you've got left over, you've bought a very good used new hammer, spend the money on lenses. Lenses is always what makes the difference. I did a video the other day about why I don't use Nikon. And it was nothing about the quality of their gear because they've got some really nice stuff. Um, the D850, for example. It was purely about my history and lenses and the sort of work I do. I use tilt shift lenses a lot, um, the Canon range of tilt shift lenses and my history from ca cameras going back to about 2003. That's why I use what I do. If I had the money for it, I'm sure I might buy some of these other bits of kit here as well. But seriously, they wouldn't be for the business. And I wouldn't fool anyone that I was actually doing this for the business. It would be purely because I can, because I can play with new toys. Now, if you're doing this as a hobby, there is absolutely nothing wrong with sort of just buying new toys to play with. But be honest with it. Don't call it an investment when all it is, is just splashing a bit of kit on something new or something secondhand. Um, think about what you want to do with a kit. And that always comes down to it that any of these cameras I've tested, their value to me, from a business point of view, this one is fairly obvious, but their value to me as a camera is what I can do with them. Um, I will happily use them. And if they break, then that's unfortunate. If they drop off a cliff, hopefully it's insured. But at a certain point, they will wear out. Um, I don't think of them in any greater terms. Now, I know people do, and I, I'd be interested to hear people's thoughts on this about the use of the term investment. It goes for printers as well. If you're buying a printer for a business, then sure, yeah, you look at running costs, all kinds of things like that and you'll come up with how much it costs, how much you hope it contributes to the business, all that sort of stuff. That's how I would expect things to work for a business. Now, I get a lot of people contacting me, asking me about buying printers for a new business idea they've got, and it's quite obvious that they've not thought one jot about the business side of things. It's purely the kit. Um, I had somebody start off with, they started with their business, and the first question they asked me was, what paper should I get? Um, I have no idea who you're selling stuff to, what you're selling, uh, what your market is, anything like that. And you're asking me what paper to use. It's completely the wrong way around. So, yeah, I am having a bit of uh, a whinge at people who just sort of read too much into things. Get out there, take photos. Uh, there is not a camera available today which you can't take great photos on. If you have a few technical reasons why you need a particular kit, then you have technical reasons why you need new kit. Just don't fool yourself. Want a DSLR? Get a D850 for under a thousand, or even like this, the 5DS for 800 odd pounds uh, for a 50 megapixel camera. You, you can print images from this at almost any size. Um, obviously, it's, this is 50 megapixel well. This particular one here, that was the 100 megapixel version of the H60. Um, and yeah, you can print vast great prints. Fun to do, but would this actually bring me in lots more work? Would this pay for itself? Actually, no, it wouldn't. Um, there is no way I could justify this for the business. So there you go. Uh, Say, so I do welcome questions, comments, and observations. Uh, they're often what sort of give me ideas for videos and the like. And uh, so hopefully um, I can get a few more of these reviews and tests done because I know people like seeing them. And uh, maybe, maybe one day I'll even be able to add a, um, a Sony camera to this list. Um, not had a chance to have a look at any yet, um, but I say go second hand if you like. Um, good point, good way of saving a bit of money. Oh, sorry, which you could invest some other way. Um, I've got some Swampland property you can buy if you like. It's called Norfolk, but uh, never mind. I'm, I'm from Suffolk. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It is appreciated and ask those questions. Thanks.